Hi guys, welcome to Caternix Corner. Uh, so I was fortunate enough today to receive a shipment of hatching eggs. Uh, they just came in through the mail. Um, Anita Garrett out at AJ Farms was kind enough to send me out 120 of her uh, JMF jumbo line hatching eggs. So Anita, I really appreciate it. Thank you very much. Um, the box came in, it was in perfect shape. The eggs were all securely packaged. Um, inside the uh, box also included the NPIP report, which is required of all eggs that come into the state of Florida. And also a couple of brochures were in the box. Uh, one was the benefits of Caternix quail eggs. Um, and it talks a little bit about uh, what each egg uh, contains as far as protein, uh, vitamins, uh, and whatnot. So that was pretty neat. But also inside the box was uh, a brochure that told you how to take care of your eggs uh, from the time you receive them right through incubation and actually into when they the uh, chicks go into the brooder and it's also got a little bit of a uh, a write-up on fertility rate versus uh, hatching rate on the back of the card so that was pretty neat to see uh, but what i want to do today is um, i've seen quite a few comments going around online on some of the social media sites uh, stating uh, the importance of turning your eggs versus not turning your eggs while you're incubating them so I thought this would be a good opportunity for me to go ahead and test that theory. Uh, what I'm gonna do is I'm going to take um, half the eggs. I've got 120 eggs that were shipped to me. I'm gonna take 60 of them and I'm gonna place them in the uh, electric egg turners and uh, place them in one incubator. And then I'm gonna take the remaining 60 eggs and I'll place them in a hatching box and just set them inside uh, the second incubator um, without turning them at all. They'll be just laying on their side in the hatching box for the duration of the uh, incubation process. So um, what I did was I fired up my hatching time incubator and that is going to be the incubator that I place the eggs on their sides in the, the hatching baskets or hatch, hatching trays. And uh, the other incubator, which is one of my uh, DIY boxes, um, I'll just put the eggs in the egg turner in that box and uh, we'll see how it goes. Okay, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to take the first 60 eggs and we're going to place them in the standard uh, electric egg turners and these will be placed in the uh, DIY boxes that I have. Um, and then the remaining eggs we're going to take and place them in these uh, hatching time baskets. and. I've got two baskets, so I'm going to probably go ahead and uh, put 30 in each one. And then we'll place them in the incubator. Okay, so we'll go ahead and uh, place the covers on these hatching trays, even though we really don't need them. but. I'll go ahead and put the covers on and uh, we'll take them and throw them in the incubator. Okay, and we'll go ahead and place the eggs that are in the egg turners inside this incubator. And make sure that we plug in the, uh, the plug. Okay, so we've got the eggs uh, placed in the incubators. Uh, the hatching time incubator has the eggs which are not going to be turned and the DIY box has the eggs that are in the turners and the turner is plugged in. Um, I don't add any water to the incubators at this time. I do what's known as a dry hatch. Uh, basically my humidity levels here in Florida are high enough that I don't need to add water to the incubator uh, during the first 14 days of incubation. Uh, but we'll come back in 14 days and we'll place these eggs into lockdown. Uh, we'll also bump up our humidity and uh, we'll probably do a little bit of candling at that time. So I'll see you guys back here in 14 days. Okay guys, so we're back now. It's day 14 and a half. So we are ready to put the eggs into lockdown. Now on this box, uh, the only thing that I had to do was to change my regulator, the humidity settings. I had to bump it up to about 65% humidity. I also filled the main reservoir on the top and uh, double check that the 
side reservoir is working fine and it is so that box is all done and ready to go oh and also i did uh, candle a couple eggs in there i pulled a few eggs out and i candled them and i do have development so i'm happy with that so on this incubator what we need to do is uh pull the eggs out of the turner and we're going to put them in some hatching trays and uh, we're also going to uh, put a humidity pan down in the bottom of the incubator and fill it up with water uh, to help raise the humidity up in this box. So let me go ahead and move the camera in so you can see a little bit better what I'm doing and uh, we'll go ahead and get them all swapped out and uh, put these eggs into lockdown. Okay, so I got a little table set up over here. What I'm gonna do is uh, go ahead and open this incubator up and get the eggs out of this one. And I'll go ahead and set the eggs down on this little table and also I'm going to take the uh, water pan and I'm going to put it in the bottom of the incubator and I've got uh, a couple bottles of warm water here I'll go ahead and uh, and fill that up usually I put about uh, between 16 and 24 ounces of water in there but because we're in my uh, computer room and I do have an air conditioner on it here I'm going to add a little bit more water because the air is drier so uh, I just want to make sure that we've got plenty of water in the incubator okay let me close this up for a minute try to keep that heat in there and what I want to do is I'm going to go ahead and kill the lights in here and we'll we'll go ahead and candle a few of the eggs okay so I'm not going to take every single egg out of here but I do want to show you uh, what it looks like when we're candling. Uh, you can see that on this egg, the uh, fat end of the egg or the air sac end of the egg is illuminated, but the rest of the egg is dark. So that is a developing egg. But I can take the uh, flashlight and go along a lot quicker this way. Okay, like right here, it looks like we've got a dud. Uh, I don't know if you can tell, but Okay, so it looks like we had about uh, five eggs that uh, were either infertile or uh, didn't start to develop at all. So hopefully um, we have about the same on the other one. I'm going to go ahead and take these eggs out. And I think I could fit all 60 eggs or all 55 eggs in this one tray. But I think I'm going to spread them out into two different trays just so the chicks have a little more room when they start to hatch out. Okay, so there's one tray. Then I'll put the top on the uh, hatching box and we'll slide it in the incubator. Okay, and the remainder of the eggs will go into this last hatching box. And the only other thing I need to do is make sure that my tray is filled with water. And that looks pretty good, so we'll go ahead and uh, button this one up. Okay, so we've got both incubators placed into lockdown. We've got the humidity raised up where we need it. Uh, we've got the eggs taken out of the turners and put into the hatching boxes. I'm really curious to see how well the turned eggs do versus the non-turned eggs. So we should start seeing some hatching activity in two or three days. Like I said earlier, we're on day 14 and a half. So figure by day 17 and a half, early 18 uh, we should have most of the chicks hatched out so we'll come back then and uh, we'll get a count and I'll let you know what the results are and hopefully we'll have a good hatch out of both of them okay so we're back here on day 18 and we've got some activity in the incubators um, I can hear chicks uh, peeping in both incubators so we have had uh, uh, chicks hatching in each one uh, what we're gonna do is go ahead and take the chicks out of the uh, DIY incubator which is the incubator that we used to turn the uh, the eggs with um, and we'll go ahead and get a count on that 
and uh, see how well we did um, as far as a hatch rate goes on our shipped eggs. Okay, so it looks like we did pretty good, at least in this tray anyhow. Um, let me go ahead, I'm gonna move the camera in here uh, so you can see uh, as we're counting the chicks and uh, see what kind of numbers we get. Okay, so what I like to do is take the tray and just stick it right inside the brooder. Uh, that way I don't get any chicks that jump out. Uh, let's see here if I can count these. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, and eighteen. Okay, so it looks like we've got eighteen out of this first tray, which there were a total of thirty in this tray. So let me grab the other tray out of the incubator. So we've got 18 on that one. Yeah, I got one underneath the tray there. 19, 20, 29, 30, and 31. And it looks like I've got an egg uh, that has pipped and still trying to come out of the tray. So we're going to go ahead and throw that tray back in the incubator. Actually, I'll throw both of them back in. Probably give these guys maybe one more day before I pull the plug on it. Okay, so we had 31 out of 55 eggs hatched. So let me write that down. And we'll go ahead and uh, set up another brooder and we'll go ahead and see what kind of a hatch we got on the unturned eggs. Okay, so now we'll go ahead and grab one of the boxes out of the incubator that did not have a turner in it and now we had 60 eggs in this one but I did not candle all the eggs so let's see we've got two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven twelve thirteen fourteen fifteen sixteen seventeen eighteen and we got one DOA. And here's the second tray. Keep it up from under there, guys. We had 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30, 31, 32, 33, 34, 35 out of 60. And I'm going to go ahead and throw these guys back in. I'll give them one more day just to see if anything else hatched. Okay, so our final numbers were uh, 66 chicks hatched out of 120. Uh, but I did throw away five eggs that were that candle infertile. So it was actually 66 out of 115 eggs. So that's uh, just over 55% hatch rate, which I would have been happy with a 55% hatch rate on shipped eggs anyway. Um, so it looks like we've got out of 55 eggs that were turned, 
we had 31 chicks hatch out and out of 60 eggs that were not turned we had 35 chicks hatch out and I still have uh, some chicks uh, that have pipped I'll probably give them one more day in this incubator to see how they do and I know at least one that uh, had already unzipped the egg and uh, that's in this uh, in this turn so I'll probably end up getting a couple more chicks out anyhow so basically uh, what we wanted to figure out is does turning the eggs give us a better hatch rate um, I'm gonna say by the numbers that I got from this uh, it did not make a difference whether you turn the eggs or not. I had just as many chicks hatch out of the eggs that were turned as or the eggs that were not turned as I did with the eggs that were turned. Um, like I said, we're probably close to a 56% hatch rate between the two. So um, I guess it's true, guys, uh, that you really don't need to turn your eggs to successfully hatch out chicks. Now, I can say that I do prefer to turn my eggs because when I incubate uh, my eggs, um, I usually get right around an 85 to 90% hatch rate on my own eggs. So I have not tried incub or I have not tried incubating my eggs um, that and not turning them. So that could uh, make a difference too. So um, I do want to say thanks very much to uh, Anita Garrett from AJ Farms uh, for sending me out the eggs. I really do appreciate it. Um, and I'm happy with the hatch rate that we got. That's uh, an average hatch rate for me is on shipped eggs is usually around 55 to 60%. And I think mainly that's due to uh, when I get eggs in, it's usually three days in shipping and they're down here in the hot weather uh, in Florida. So a lot of times, that seems to take a toll on the eggs that end up coming into me. So Anita, uh, I really appreciate it. Uh, guys, if you're looking for uh, some of the JMF jumbo lines, uh, contact Anita at AJ Farms LLC and uh, she can hook you up with some eggs. Um, so guys, I hope this helped out. Um, I hope it answered a question. You know, do you have to turn your eggs? Um, I would say by these results, no, you don't have to. Although I do... Um, prefer to turn my own eggs anyhow. So guys, uh, thanks for joining me. Um, I hope you found this interesting. If you're not already subscribed to the channel, please do so. Helps me out. You can get notified of any new and upcoming videos if you hit the notification bell. So thanks again, guys, and we'll see you on the next one.